Before you can even start using R, you need to download it. I will now guide you through the setup process. Those of you who already have it on your machine can of course skip this video. The others can follow along. There are one or two pitfalls when downloading, so I will pay attention to that as well. At first you must understand that R and RStudio are two separate entities. R is the general interface. The R console looks like this one over here. You can of course also run R without RStudio, but this is much harder, especially for the beginners. Nowadays nearly anybody uses RStudio on top of R. Most of the R tutorials I create are screencasted in RStudio. Only a few are made with R Commander, which is one alternative to RStudio. You need to download and install R at first. Since RStudio is a graphical user interface which sits on top of R. For the whole download process of RBase, you would need approximately 600 megabytes. To start the downloading process of R, go to crane.r-project.org. Here you would then select your operating system, either Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm on Windows, so I select Windows and then I need to download Base, since I want R Base. You would then launch the .exe file to start the installation process. Now, should you have any problems, you can also run the installation as an administrator. That is especially important for those of you who are still on Windows Vista. Next, you select your installation language and simply press OK. For the setup wizard, I'm gonna press Next and after that I get the license agreement which is a general public license. I press next to accept this one. Then I am selecting a location on my computer. And after that I have to select the bit rate of my system, which is either 64 bit or a 32 bit. Just select one and press next. You can then select the setup options. The easiest way here is to go for the default options. Press next again. You can also select if you want a start folder for R. And there are also shortcuts to select like a desktop or a quick launch icon. Once you have clicked through all of those options, you get a message saying R is just being installed, which can take a few minutes. As soon as you can click on finish, you are done and you can use R. Now to test the functionality of R, there is actually quite a handy tool. You can check out the manual on Crane, which is called R Installation and Administration, to learn more about those testing options. Since we now have R on our machine, we can start downloading and installing our second component, RStudio which we are adding atop of R. For RStudio, just go to rstudio.com and click on download RStudio. Select the open source version of RStudio desktop. You can select your operating system and download the installation files. After that you can run the .exe file, which will ask you for installation location and the start menu folder. Once you are done with that, the installation will start and then you only need to click finish. That's it, congratulations, you now have R and a great graphical user interface ready and you can start exploring this beautiful software.